Hi, my name is Dr. Peter Levy from Santa Barbara, California, and I'm a chiropractor, and I've been teaching the highly effective soft tissue seminar known as neuromuscular education all over the world. I get asked many questions about the technique, and one of them is, how do you go about diagnosing? Well, that's an interesting question, because several years ago, four or five years ago, the Journal of the American Medical Association published an article by Johns Hopkins saying they felt that 52, 53% of their diagnoses were incorrect. So I've always been cynical about it and thought that the purpose of a diagnosis is actually to get an insurance company to pay. And since I run a cash practice, an all-cash practice, I don't feel bound by insurance company rules. But as an example, if you take any given area, let's say the shoulder and someone's having arm pain, maybe their neighbor said they had carpal tunnel syndrome, I don't know. But if it was, as an example, carpal tunnel, you could go right to the wrist and work on it. What I'd like to do is actually start the neck at C5 to T1 because that's where the nerve roots come out. I would then go to the thoracic outlet between the first and second ribs. I would next go under uh, pectoralis minor because the nerves go by there. I would go down to the elbow to the pronator teres because they're double heads. And then I'd go to the actual wrist, to the carpal tunnel. So what I like to think I do in diagnosing is it's a functional diagnosis. I don't make up the diagnosis before. I work on someone, and as I find the affected muscles or joints, that's what I put into a diagnosis ultimately. So if you want more information, please visit me on the web at nmrseminars.com. I'm easily available by phone, by email, carrier pigeon, but I'm available. So use me. I'm really here to help you become a better practitioner. So thanks so much.